The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of the Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. I feel so well rested. Woo! 100 years in that hyperbolic time chamber really, really make you feel good. Woo! I think I just feel like I'm ready to go save the world. Oh, hi, hi. How are you guys? <laughs> I didn't see you guys there. How's it going? 
This is Lucian Sword, and today we are starting a brand new playthrough of one of my favorite games of all time, Breath of the Wild. Let's go ahead and grab the Sheikah Slate. That is a Sheikah Slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Just do what the voices in your head say, Link. Don't question them. The Sheikah Slate! A mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet, there's something familiar about it. Imagine if the door mechanism failed to open because it was so rusty after a hundred years that I got locked in this room and died of starvation or just had to go back to sleep. Man, they put a lot of faith in that ancient technology. Alright, let's go ahead and grab our first chest item! Oh. It's just some pants. Feels bad, man. How about this one? The Master Sword! Surely you would leave the Master Sword with me. Oh, it's, a, it's, my, it's an old shirt. Oh. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. No problem, guys. Let's put these clothes on. Give me my freedom! Hold the Sheikah Slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. Right. I figured that out in the last room. Let's not make a habit of repeating things. It'd be funny if it was like authenticating. Update required. 40,000 gigabytes. Because it's been 100 years. You know how like you, you turn on your console after it's been a long time. You want to play a game. You haven't played. It's like, all right, I'm ready to play, man. I've been waiting for months to play this game. Boom. Update required. Must wait three hours. Oh, my goodness. The light is so bright. Link. You are the light. Our light, that must shine upon Hyrule once again. Hyrule looks pretty shiny already. Now go. Bossy voice in my head. Oh, guys, we can finally emerge from our caves. Let's see what the world is like after a hundred years. Feels like kind of like real life, don't it? <laughs> beautiful game it brings a tear to my eye look at the the fog just rolling over the land man if this is what I, like this is like heaven to me when I die I want to just go here All right, guys, so if you clicked on this video and you've never been on my channel before, welcome, 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 welcome. I hope you thoroughly enjoy this playthrough. However, probably a lot of you are already subscribers to me, and I thank you guys for checking out this video, even though it's not a Brawlhalla video. Um, so, a little bit of background on my... Ooh, wait a minute. There's a beetle. Hold on. Hold on. Boom! My Animal Crossing instincts are too strong! A bladed rhino beetle. That will give me... Ooh, an attack power? Oh, perfect, man. I actually need those. I want to grab as many sticks and, and uh, herbs and mushrooms and apples as I possibly can. Because this is master mode. We are not messing around, boys. I thought about doing regular mode, but I've already beaten this game two times on regular mode. And, uh... You know, I've never tried master mode. Oh, there's two more beetles here. Oh my goodness, look at that. And another one on that other tree. Let's grab these up here first. 
the difference between master mode and regular mode is basically master mode is a harder difficulty of regular mode. I know I saw you. Where are you at? There, you, there he is. Um, all the enemies are upgraded. They regenerate health. There's different kinds of enemies. They're in different places. All that good stuff. Oh man, I was going to go collect that beetle and that lizard and the, the stupid rock. Didn't even need to push that rock down. Oh wow. That went pretty far. Oh, what a beautiful game though, guys. I am super excited to be playing this game. I've wanted to make this game a uh, playthrough on my channel since the game came out. But, like, it's just never felt like the right time. That and Nintendo used to demonetize all their videos, so that was kind of a strong discouragement. But now Nintendo is not demonetizing videos, and the time just feels right. You know? I've, I've been wanting to play a different game. What better than one of my favorite games of all time? I beg your pardon. I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. <laughs> Forgive me. I could not resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple and an open flame make for a succulent treat. It's a bit of a strange. It's been. It's a, it's a bit strange to see another soul in these parts. Bye. I didn't come here to talk. I came here for the apple. Ooh. Wait! Where are you rushing off to now? Is speaking with a strange old man truly such an awful use of your time? What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Bye. <clears> hmm. <throat> well, do as you like then. Hmm. I'm gonna take your torch too. Huh? Well then. Just help yourself to that torch, and how, may I ask, are you planning to use it? It's a secret. <laughs> I see. Well, then, do as you please. There are plenty of monsters ahead of here, though. Remember that you can use it as a weapon if need be. <laughs> However, do not just swing it around without purpose. You must face your opponents and lock your sights on them. Oh, come on, old man. I didn't ask for your advice. The rule about advice is don't give advice if it wasn't asked for Link. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. I'd rather listen to the voice in my head than to you, old man. Alright, let's grab the axe really quick, and then I'm gonna... Actually, I think there is an apple tree right here. Let's grab some apples really quick. We're gonna want to keep as many healing items as possible. So, since we're on episode one of the Breath of the Wild playthrough, let's go over some ground rules. Try not to give any spoilers, uh, just in case there's people that have not yet played the game. You know, I'm, I'm not going to try to give spoilers, and I would appreciate it if you guys also don't give spoilers in the comments. You can give me tips and, tr and stuff if you, if you want to do that, though. All right, here we go. Woo! Oh, beautiful. 10 out of 10 all across the board. Ah, you found me. Huh? You're not Hestu. But you can see me. I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. Well, if you run into Hestu, please return this to him. We got our first Korok seed. Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places, too. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious places. <clears throat> like jumping off of cliffs. Actually, I do need a Hyrule Bass for a uh, recipe a little bit later on. I go up here, though. I want to grab this weapon up here. It's actually super useful. Probably everybody thinks this is the Master Sword the first time they play the game. Nintendo trolls you pretty good, though. Gives you a rusty broadsword. Unfortunately, we can't open this right now. We need the bombs. We'll get that in a little bit. There is the Temple of Time. Oh, man. Guys, I grew up as a child playing Ocarina of Time. That was my golden age, like, Zelda game. Everybody, like, when they're, like, 10 years old, whatever Zelda game is the newest Zelda game when they're 10 years old, I feel like that's the Zelda game they think is the best game of all time. For me, that was Ocarina of Time, without a doubt. But even now, as that I'm older and I've played almost every Zelda game, I'm looking for the bass. All right, there they are. 
I still think Ocarina of Time is the best one, but I think Breath of the Wild is a very close second. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I gotta go back or I'm gonna die. That fish went underwater so fast I couldn't catch him. Alright, there might be some more on this side maybe. I just see a frog. Alright, well these will give me a speed boost if I cook them. It's always good to crouch and uh, dash so you can capture things a little bit easier. Man, usually there's some more Hyrule bass swimming around. I don't see them. Alright, let's try to get out of this water without... Oh, no, no, I need stamina. Man, everything will kill you in this game. This game is unique in that it's the hardest difficulty at the beginning of the game. And it gets easier the further you go as you get better and better equipment and better and better weapons, right? It's very challenging at first, so... If I can make it off the Great Plateau, I'll be doing just fine. See those, uh, see those bass right there? That's what I want. Alright, here, let's go get them. Ah, oh, why are they so fast? Yes, got one. I I only needed the one, so I'm happy. There's some more over there, but that's all right. All right, let's get out of here. I'm going to go explore the uh, Temple of Time a little bit. Now, in Master Mode, all the enemies are upgraded and they regenerate health. Um, I have... I have a pretty decent amount of weapons, but honestly, it's probably only enough weapons. Is that a chest? No, they're barrels. I kind of want to go blow up those barrels, but I'm going to go up to the temple first. Because I know there's a bow up here. I got to be careful though, because if I'm not mistaken, there are some enemies nearby. I see one over there. All the enemies that were red, bow goblins, like in the regular playthrough, now they're all blue. And it takes a lot of damage to kill them. And all I have are sticks and stones, so... I'm not in a rush to uh, beat the game though, guys. This is not a speed playthrough or anything. Uh, this... Actually, I might be able to do a sneak attack and do some good damage to him. Let's see. That is exactly what I wanted to do. That is exactly what I wanted to do. I have played the game twice, so I kind of understand like the mechanics and how to abuse them. Uh, which is going to benefit me greatly. I remember when I was watching Zumbor's playthrough of this game. Which, by the way, is the best playthrough of the game that you could ever watch. Oh, five arrows. Let's go. Is Zumbor. I'm going to put a link to that in the description. It's also one of the... Uh, one of the... One of the playthroughs that inspired me to make my own is Zumwar's playthrough. I've literally his playthrough is 169 episodes and um, I watched the entire thing twice probably at least. Maybe even three times. Even my kids love watching it. Let's see if I can pray. The goddess statue smiles upon you. <sighs> guess, that's, that's, guess that's it. We could climb on top of the uh, Temple of Time, but we're going to do that a little bit later. For now, let's just appreciate where we are standing, guys. If you did play through Ocarina of Time, just take a moment to remember all the memories that happened in this building. Bringing the spiritual stones here. Claiming the Master Sword for the first time. Being sealed in the room for seven years and then becoming an adult. Discovering that Sheik is actually Zelda for the first time. All of these things you know, happen in the Temple of Time and Ocarina of Time, so this building is a very, very solemn and sacred place. Uh, not only in the game's lore, but just to me in general. Alright, let's grab some more ancient parts. We're going to use them later to uh, upgrade and all that kind of good stuff. Oh man, the game doesn't have a lot of music. Unfortunately, it does have very, very like subtle background music. It wants you to be more focused on the game and not so much the music, I guess. It's like jungle over there. Alright, so I got... Oh, wait, did I get the bow? Yeah, I did. Alright, sweet. Oops. Alright, I don't think there's anything in this area except maybe some chests. Or, I mean, some uh, pots or, or barrels to break. Let's just double check in here real quick. 
So on this playthrough, guys, uh, I, well, I don't know how much of uh, my strategy I want to give away yet because I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to tackle the uh, the Divine Beast right away or if I'm going to just focus on Shrines and try to get enough hearts to get the Master Sword first before doing any Divine Beast. Alright, let's see if I can do another sneak attack on this guy. You guys probably don't know it, but like, if you don't do sneak attacks like that, it's actually so hard to kill that guy. Ooh, that almost killed my... They, they take so much damage, it's not even, not even funny. Alright. Got some upgraded armor, that is going to help immediately. Let me equip that. All right, we're making good progress here, guys. Check out Death Mountain over there. Oh, man. All right, let's make our way over to the uh, the room right there. That's where we need to go. Most of these videos, I'm aiming for about 30-minute videos. So, got to try to make it a daily occurrence as well because I really enjoyed when Zumwar was doing daily videos. At the least, every other day. Alright, alright. Oh, another dude right there. And I don't have my sword, so I'm not even going to try to fight him. I think there's just a couple uh, crates in that area. I'm just going to leave them for now. Let's uh, push these rocks. Right, once I get my uh, abilities and a little bit more stuff, we are going to go explore... Areas that you're not really required to explore. Oh, I opened my map, but I actually don't have it. This is how big the world is, though. It's a really big world. Completely uncharted and uncovered right now. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, <laughs> hello. He's telling a very interesting story, man. Alright, let's see if I get two for two. Two for two. Oh, come on, Link. Come on, Link. I know you've been sleeping for a hundred years, but... You gotta put that muscle back on. Oh, he didn't die! Alright, we gotta press. We gotta press. He's regenerating. Ow. Alright, uh... Should I, should I throw my uh, sword at him because it's about to break anyways? This is probably a bad idea to even fight him because... Oh! See what I mean? These guys are tough. I don't even get much out of fighting him. I want him to drop his weapon, but he's not really doing it. Oh, I tried to ba I tried to backflip and I did a side flip. He won't drop his weapon. I'm gonna beat him with the torch. There it is. Wait, we're gonna switch to a better weapon. Yeah, come at me, bro. Uh, but first, let me heal. Can't let him heal. Oh, he dropped his, perfect. Get wrecked, boy. Alright, the other guy dropped a couple items, right? Where did he die? Like, are the items under here? Did I not? Did I already pick them up? I guess not. Whatever. Alright, let's make our way toward. Oh, wait, that's a butterfly. Oh, no, come back! No! I want to try to capture those butterflies. Here's another one. You gotta sneak up to them, though. Okay, guys. Summer Wing Butterfly, uh, creates what makes you feel warm and fuzzy. Oh, good, I need that. Um, 
Here are some new enemy placements. These are called like uh, uh, sky towers or Octorok floating platform tower things. I don't really know. Um, I don't think I'm going to mess with those yet. Let's go get the uh, tower first over here. Oh, wow. All right. So there's guys up there and, and a guy right there. And he has a really good looking weapon. Hmm. I'm going to try to get around him so that I can sneak sneak strike him without getting the attention of that guy or that guy. All right, we got it. Man, there, there are guys that are, I think there's... Oh, there's more bass in here. There we go. These heal for a lot of uh, health, so especially when I cook them. I'll leave the other ones. Don't want to completely uh, make them extinct. All right. Oh shoot! How do you see me? No way. Oh hi. Alright, gotta get my timing down. There it is. I wanted to like stop and throw it. Um, just gonna have to keep going with the club. Are you really wanting his sword? There it is. Oh yeah. And the shield for the first time. Nice. I love how that guy Alright, notice how after he blew the horn They like went up Oh, that's so cool Those are only in master mode You don't see these floating platforms in the regular mode Alright, we'll, we'll deal with those guys a little bit later For now Let's hit our first tower, baby Link's like, what do I do? Just put that Sheikah Slate in there and let it do its thing, baby. Sheikah Tower activated. Prepare for epic cutscene. got to see a little glimpse of the uh, some of the other areas of the map not all of them though and now we are way up high great plateau tower higher than the octorok platforms even Oh yeah, baby. Uncovering our first section of map. The Great Plateau. The Great Plateau is basically like the training area. Or tutorial. Try. Try to remember. The game really opens up after we get... Asleep. For the past 100 years. All right, she's gonna give us uh, the point of the game, I guess, right now. The beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. You must. 
must hurry, Link. Before it's too late. Alright, so I just woke up and she's already telling me I have to save the world! So, no big deal though. I'm, I'm down for that. Um, let's hop on down here. Yeah, the, the Great Plateau is basically like the tutorial area, so the, it's kind of like not the most exciting area to, to do. Uh, the game actually gets way more exciting and way cooler the, the further Whoa. we go. I knew you were a stalker, weird old man. My, my, it would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower and others like it have erupted all across the land one after another. Yeah, I know, I did that. It's almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. Well, how observant of you, old man. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? Man, he is so nosy. None of your business. Ooh. You need not conceal the truth from me. Truth be told, I saw the whole thing unfold from afar. You are stalking me, dude. I'm going to get a restraining order on you. I love your beard, though. Although I could not hear anything, I did see you react as if you heard something coming from the direction of the castle. Wow. Hmm. Hit the nail on the head, did I? And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? I didn't say anything about a voice. Hmm. Seems I have some work to do as far as earning your trust goes. I suppose that is understandable. Uh, yeah, I don't know you, person. You could be Ganondorf for all I know. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity in shrouding the castle. Hmm. That is Calamity Ganon. That's what Ganon would say. 100 years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. Well, most. Not, I wouldn't even say most. Like, look, there's a lot of stuff still here. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength, for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. Hmm. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? Link is a silent type, uh -huh. you know this. You need not say a word. Your eyes reveal the determination within. Okay. Here, on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death would be more certain or more foolish. Ooh. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. <laughs> Ah, pique your interest, have I? Yes, I didn't come soaring down here on my own feathery wings, you know. Hmm. Worry not. I will happily agree to give you my paraglider, but not for nothing. Of course, old hmm. man. You sly fox! Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Sounds like a fair hmm. deal. Come, let me show you something. Uh, I'm actually getting hungry, man. I'll, I'll, I'll catch up with you later. I'm just joking. I'll go see what he wants. Dude, we're going to get sniped if you stand up here. This is master mode. You know that, right? Hmm. Do you see that structure there? The one shining with a strange light? Uh, let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Let me. Oh, oh, you mean the, the shrine. Yeah. It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose from the ground. Let's ignore that floating giant structure thing in the sky back there. I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Okay, okay. It is a fair exchange. However, we are at the time limit for our first episode of Breath of the Wild, guys. So that means next episode we're going to be hitting the shrines and hopefully I'll be able to uh, actually complete the Great Plateau in the second episode. Uh, might take three, we'll see. And then from there the game really opens up 
I cannot wait to get started because absolutely there is so. Oh, whoops. Whoa. Whoa. Old man got a little bit nervous there, huh? Huh? You getting a little nervous now? Yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for checking out episode one. Definitely hope to see you guys in the next episode, guys. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy.